Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Comic Cosplay and today I want to tell you how to turn your cosplay or prop making or any artistic skills into a passive income. So since you clicked on this video, you probably wonder anyway how to turn art into money. I mean, uh, things are probably pretty hard for you anyway since there are no conventions. So in case you made some commissions before, there are maybe no customers. If you made any props, maybe also nobody wants to buy any props. You're also not able to sell any prints as a cosplayer or like in general struggle to even pay your bills since you lost your job. So I thought today I'm actually going to share with you what we are making. Like Benny and I, we are self-employed now for uh, uh, seven years since 2013 and we actually figured out plenty of ways how to make a pretty easy income with something artistic with cosplay with also supporting the community and i think that's pretty awesome so i want to get you into doing the same as well so first, uh, before we get started, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I and my husband Benny actually doing for our own income streams. Like maybe you know that we are actually creating cosplay crafting books like this one, for example, in this one, for example, on this one, for example, on comingcosplay.com, you find them physical like these ones and also digital and uh, we actually also have cosplay crafting patterns which you basically just print out trace on the material and then you can start crafting and like the books and also the prints are um, uh, except this one fully digital so basically they go completely automatic and we only put a little bit of effort into creating the files then we upload them on the shop and then uh, people are just keep on buying them and we don't need to do basically anything except customer support which Benny has to do when somebody doesn't get a download link for example and that's pretty much it so we put only once an effort into uh, creating the product and then it goes completely automatically and this is basically already the very first of our passive income streams and these ones gives us like um, you know like safety and also a reliable income every single day and you know also time so we can create something new and the physical ones these babies here they need a little bit more effort since we actually have to ship them uh, actually two times a week at least or also when we're doing a sale and we also send them to shops worldwide like right now we have 30 shops uh, which constantly keep on ordering them uh, so this is also a little bit passive as well but uh, takes a little bit more effort than the digital ones. Our second income stream is actually YouTube like with the YouTube ad revenue we, we actually make an income every single month like right now it's only 850 which is not really a lot but it's still something and in addition you lovely people out there will support us on patreon you're also supporting us as well so thank you so much as well and on top of that we actually also have affiliate links in our video so every time when i basically mention a soldering gun or a um, heat gun or like any materials or props or anything you will find a link in the youtube description down below and then when you click on it and then order the product and actually order anything else like it doesn't need to be like this exactly soldering gun we actually get an income from amazon as well which is really sweet too so basically YouTube is also more or less passive. We still have to create content, surely, but also people watching even videos which are already one year or two years old, and then we actually get some money from that as well, which is really cool too. Well, and the third income streams are actually conventions, which is a little bit difficult this year since there are basically no cons, uh, but they're actually digital events and some of them actually inviting cosplayers to run panels, to judge costume competitions or like to host anything, which I think is really cool. Also to support these amazing artists. So keep your eyes open. It, it's also a great way maybe to get a little appearance fee or also spread your word and show your products around. So, but enough talking about me, now it's about what you actually can do. And like my very first tip is actually record and take photos of everything. So basically when you make a prop or a weapon or whatever, always take progress pictures. Don't only think about like your final costume and like having a nice pretty photo shoot or like show off your final weapon or whatever you want to make, but actually make step 
by step pictures and also record videos of everything you want to do. It sounds totally silly, whatever, but I actually used photos of like my very first costumes and everything, like even in books I wrote like uh, 20 years later. Like this stuff will be always helpful at some point and like think about it. You could make patterns, you could make books, you can make video tutorials, you can make courses, but you have to get this content. I, I actually take photos of everything, you know, like with my camera or like, you know, like with, with like a proper, proper camcorder thing or whatever. And like Benny always forgets it. And then he has to record and like everything again and then rebuild everything because he doesn't have any content. So make sure you actually keep track of your progress and video and photo form. So the 3D printing book, for example, like it has content uh, which is like ages old. Like for example, I made uh, Aloy together with Benny and while Benny obviously forgot to take photos of everything, I recorded like every single step and now you actually find all these fine, nice, pretty, actually mobile phone photos uh, <laughs> because I didn't use my proper camera but they were good enough and you will find them actually in this book right now and at some point we just collected so much stuff over the years that we thought about now it's time to make a book same with the prop uh, armor making book for example you know like uh, some of the content is new but like actually most of the content inside was already published on social media on my youtube or whatever and like you maybe already saw it but like not in this format and now it's like pretty nice book and i can pretend that i actually made some new content and sell it to you by my books my second point is actually never to throw away your patterns and like keep using them for pattern collections for example when i'm working every time on a new costume and make a new breastplate a new bracer a new leg armor i always keep the pattern and only throw it away until benny actually scan them and like put it into his computer and make like a new nice pattern and basically uh, this way we are collecting patterns over the years and then get like more and more breastplates more and more braces and then at some point we have so many braces and patterns and like different shapes and designs that we actually combine them to a pattern collection so for example you actually find a breastplate pattern collection or a shoulder armor pattern collection in my shop on comicosplay.com buy my patterns as well and yeah basically these are um, patterns which i used like ages ago from all their costumes so i highly recommend you to do the same and you don't need to collect them and like sell them actually as a collection but you can also sell them as individual armor pieces or even maybe make a, a collection of a full costume and yeah just put a little bit of effort into creating the digital file upload it to the store and then you're able to help uh, plenty of cosplayers this way who want to make the same costume or the same armor piece or the same like costume piece and you actually also make a steady and passive income well and the question is actually how to sell your stuff right um like when i was beginning with my very first book i actually uh used store envy and it was a little bit of a struggle to send everything out because back then i have to send everything manually and like click on every single order to send it out and like right now i actually have a website and like everything goes automatically but like you can also use um etsy for example and there are actually plenty of people who are selling digital files like for example um, posters or like stuff they want to print out or like letters whatever so um, Etsy is totally an option for that if you're okay then you can switch to a private website later and like also save some fees and everything but like yeah if you don't have no idea how to get started I highly recommend you to use Etsy or Store Envy or any of the other shop websites you can find online well, and if you actually even already struggle on how to write a book or how to digitalize your own patterns, I can cover this in an extra video if you want. But now we're going to the next part. Number three, keep it going. 
So when you actually create a digital product and it goes online, then you have plenty of sales at the beginning and then they drop slowly. And then it can be a little bit stressful since uh, your income is basically gone and it's not so high anymore. So the solution is actually to keep on creating new products from time to time. Last month, for example, as mentioned, Benny and I, we released a 3D printing book. And uh, before that, we actually kept on making a new pattern every single month. And like this was our goal for this year, creating a new product every single month. And while we have a lot of sales at the beginning and then they drop down, the, like, the low level of all the sales in combination actually enough to uh, give us a steady income and like basically give us enough of time and safety to create new products. So I highly recommend you not just to rely on one single product, but actually give you uh, maybe like, you know, like a time schedule where you want to release one product every month, every two months, and like, you know, give, give you like a little bit of safety and also uh, motivation to actually increase your passive income over this time. Number four, use YouTube or Twitch. So basically, if you record yourself uh, via video or like a live stream, you actually create a much more personal connection to your audience, to uh, like person who actually watch you. And uh, like people feel much more attached to you and actually want to support you much more. So uh, like then it's much more easier to sell them your shit. Like basically, buy my books. And like the funny thing is actually every time I upload a YouTube video, uh, our sales go up and I think that's pretty cool. So thanks a lot for your support. And also most people actually know me from YouTube. Uh, also, I think most conventions actually invite me just because of YouTube and actually even had uh, some conventions where people didn't recognize me in costume because they knew me only from my YouTube channel. And I think that's really, really cool. And especially, you know, it shows you a little bit of like of your personality that you're actually a real human being and not just somebody on a photo and you know and uh, I think that's great and uh, especially now I forgot what I wanted to tell you but ah uh, yeah right and even though it's really 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 hot right now I'm still here and want to make a video for you despite of I'm dying and that's the reason why I actually didn't craft anything so actually I'm writing a new book right now but I thought I'm doing a YouTube video for you so you get to see me again because I want to create some connection with you yes number five do your research for example all these tips I'm sharing with you right now they are just as I mentioned my own personal experience and what I do by myself but there are also so many more ways you can actually uh, try out as well like for example the thing with the Amazon Kindle store I had no idea that it's actually so easy to upload your books on Amazon and actually just uh, uh, found a random YouTube video and thought, hey, this sounds really interesting. So I actually just kept on digging and watched more videos and like there are actually people who make a full income source only with books on Amazon and that's pretty amazing. And I thought, hey, I can do it as well. And especially I already have some books which I can upload. So, you know, like this is something completely new, but I figured that out on uh, YouTube. And also there, there are also people uh, who are doing, for example, courses, like online courses, with videos and stuff. And that's something I can actually do as well. And I didn't, didn't have any idea that this is actually like a whole industry on this internet. And yeah, it's just perfect, especially if you have some skill, if you already have some knowledge on how to teach people something cool. And if you have some time and don't know what to do anyway, you know, so keep your eyes open and maybe you will find something absolutely cool you never thought about. And and uh, which is really, really worth to try. And like, just because someone else is doing it and others are still didn't try it yet, it doesn't mean that you cannot be successful with that. Maybe you're the very first person who created the most amazing, I don't know, courses or whatever, like, or a video about like uh, a special crafting technique, you know? So just try it out, keep your eyes open and don't be scared to, you know, just do something new. 
Well, and my very last point is probably that, you know, like getting in this whole thing might be a little bit intimidating. Like, you know, you, you might think like, oh my God, I'm not good enough to make any patterns. And like, oh my God, like what, what kind of books should I do? Like there are so many people who wrote books already. And you know, like you, you see like all these amazing artists and like all these amazing people and think that like, uh, I cannot do it, you know, but just, just stop thinking about others. Like for example, I was also not the very first one who actually created cosplay books buy my books on kamikosplay.com by the way and like there there was a girl uh, um i think uh, amethyst angel I actually got her books back then on like uh like on 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 cd-rom and like and this was already amazing and like also build around from punish prop also had some amazing books as well and like i didn't thought like oh i gotta make some books because there are already some books you know just just go your go your way and like do your thing and like don't compare yourself to others and especially even if your stuff is crap like my very first wobbler armor book is crap like i avoid actively to look into it but but still buy it it's really good and you know like you you know your very first stuff doesn't need to be perfect and like you don't need to make uh, the most awesome stuff and like you you don't need to have like the most amazing p skills nobody saw before you know just do your thing try it out don't be scared and like over the time you will get better you will you will learn your techniques your your content will get better and but just the most important part is actually start doing it like try it out and don't be scared to make the very first step because like this one is the most important and i'm pretty sure you will do it and it will be awesome well and i know it's really difficult right now and nobody knows how it's continue or like when the conventions are opening up again and like when everything is fine again but it's totally okay i think it's important to make the best out of it to use your time and like maybe you have a lot of free time right now because like all of your costumes are already finished for the next three years i don't know so it's just the perfect time to use all your photos all your videos and like start a youtube channel uh, start streaming do some books or patterns or whatever just check out youtube maybe for new ideas and i'm pretty sure whatever you will do it will be absolutely awesome and you can do it so i'm already very proud of you you can do it and you know and other than that if you have also any other questions or like any ideas or like any if you want to get like any business advices or whatever or like whatever whatever you know just leave me a comment down below i hope you like this video and i also hope that you will like the like button the subscribe button and also will hit the notification bell and you can also support us on patreon as i already noticed and yeah well see you very soon bye bye and i hope it won't be that hard anymore i want to craft again